Hello everyone, this is Tamara Abbott, and I'll be talking to you about the captivity narrative of Mary Rowlandson. Mary Rowlandson was captured by the Native Americans and moved around New England. It is questioned whether or not Mary Rowlandson was born in New England in the year of 1636, but we do know for sure that Mary Rowlandson dies in New England in the year of 1711. Her parents immigrated to the United States and landed in Salem, Massachusetts. Mary Rosen was the fifth child of nine siblings. Her parents were John and Joanne White. John moved his family to Lancaster, Massachusetts. He was known to be one of the wealthiest men in his neighborhood. Mary was 19 years old when she first got married. She married the town minister named Joseph Rowlandson. They had f four children together. Mary was taken captive by the, by the natives during the King Philip War with her children. Mary adapted by using skills like sewing and knitting, and she would sell those things to the tribes. She once asked King Philip for a payment to her master, but King Philip denied it and told her to keep her money. War was declared in 1635, known for the worst, the most deadly war ever. During the war, Mar one of Mary Dorothy's dies. They were released in 1677. Her husband dies in seven, in, sorry, in 1679. She then remarried and met to a man named Samuel. Mary Rolson dies in 1711, but before she dies. She writes a book about her journey, titled The Sovereignty of Goodness of God. The book reached bestseller status and is now known to be a classic. I hope you guys enjoy my video and thanks for watching.